Hey guys, welcome back. This is Blue Forest. So I've just done some serious grinding in raids because I wanted to pick up the best relic in the game, the Allspark, which if you don't know, gives you 5% attack and health in all game modes, and I have just picked it up. It makes it a super useful relic because it helps you out all the time. Now, if you're wondering how I was able to get this relic so quickly, it's because I simply grinded it, right? Because as you've probably seen, you now need to spend raid chips in order to get these relics, and you need quite a few of them in order to pick the relics up, all right? The good news, though, is that if you're willing to do some grinding, it's actually a lot faster than you think. Because I had a few friends do it, including my good buddy Jax, and he had said to me, you should do it, man. It's easy, and it won't take that long. And he was right. In the end, I spent less than 200 Energon, because you do have to spend 10 Energon per raid once you're out of raid tickets. And I was finished in about 90 minutes. So it really isn't a big deal, and it doesn't take that long if you want to get one of these relics quickly. Because otherwise, if you're just raiding casually, not that often, it will take forever to rack up enough raid chips in order to pick up these relics. And given how useful they are, especially in more difficult content, it's very worthwhile to spend some energy on, do some grinding, so that you can start accumulating these relics quickly. Now, of these relics, we do have the four main ones. We have the Allspark, we have the Golden Disc, which gives you attack and health in AMs. We have the Star Saber, which gives you increased gold, as well as attack and health in story and special missions. And then we have the Cloaking Field, which gives you increased XP and gold, as well as some additional raid chips. Of these four, I would start with the Allspark, just because it will help you all the time. After that, Pick up relics according to your preferences. If you're serious about AMs, I would go with the Golden Disc. If you want more gold as well as additional help and story and special missions, go with the Star Saber. But I would focus regardless on these primary four relics first, okay? All Spark number one, and then the other three as you see fit. I would get at least a few of these before you get the relics up here based on characters. Because even though the primary relics are more expensive, it's worth it because they will be more useful to you. The relics based on characters are still good, they'll help you out, but they're not doing anything that the other relics don't already do better, right? So, you know, the Galvatron relic gives you attack and health and AMs, but the Golden Disc and the Allspark will already cover that. Same thing with the Jazz Relic. Health and AMs, other relics will cover that. And honestly, some of these relics you don't even really need. Like the Megatron Relic gives you attack in arenas, but arenas are generally very easy. You know, the Kickback Relic gives you a little bit more raid chips, but it's not much, and the Cloaking Field will already cover that. You know, so like I said, I would start with the four primary relics first, or at least a few of them, and then only get the other relics later once you have the main relics on your base, right? That is the strategy that I would recommend. And so, like I said, it's a couple hundred Energon at most, which you're gonna get back in a couple days. We're getting plenty of Energon in this new version of the game. And as I mentioned, maybe two hours of your time. So it's a very worthwhile thing to do if you wanna start accumulating these relics. And so I'll leave it there for now, guys. I hope you're doing well, and we will be in touch again soon. Take care.